And now weather with meteorologist T.J. Springer. Certified by WeatherAid for the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks. The heat is on for our July 4th. Happy Independence Day. Welcome back. It's 545, a quarter till 6 on our holiday Monday. All this quiet and historic downtown Branson. There's the Branson Landing off in the foreground. One great spot to check out fireworks. I know I think I believe their celebration was over the weekend, but I know there's going to be a lot going on all around the Ozarks tonight. So hopefully you can get out and enjoy it. But the heat is going to be something we'll all have to combat here throughout the region. Taking a peek outside your door in Springfield, we have 75 degrees, a clear sky out there, just a few clouds overhead. So we'll call it mainly clear. The dew point, boy oh boy, it is an oppressive start. Lower 70s, a soupy thick feel out there for sure. And it's even hotter just down I-44 into places like the Tulsa Metro, 82 there for them. It's 74 in Ava. We have 73 in Fort Leonard Wood. It is 73 in Harrison. Temperatures a little bit above average for this time of the year, and I think this afternoon we're going to be even hotter. With the help of that south to southwesterly wind, we're going to be seeing our numbers feeling the heat. I think upper 90s for some of our neighborhoods out to the west, 94 or so in Fort Leonard Wood, 95 in West Plains in Mountain Home. Most of us hanging out in the middle 90s today, which again is running close to 10 degrees above average for this time of July. I mentioned a potential storm or two earlier on in the show, and we are going to have that daytime driven instability thanks to the heating. So let's time it out on future cast. Not going to be a great chance. Lesser coverage than what we saw yesterday, but you can see a couple trying to bubble up as we head through 2 o'clock, and then we'll keep that 10% chance or so as we head through the afternoon. But getting into the evening, we're losing that instability. We're seeing those uh, storms, any that can develop, fade. And then we're clearing out through the overnight with this ridge continuing to build in across the area, which will lead to a lot more sunshine for our day tomorrow. So if you are heading out later on this evening, setting off some fireworks or hanging out with friends and family, expect that stray storm possibly earlier on in the evening. But then we're going to be uh, pretty muggy. It's going to be in the middle 80s, I'm thinking. Not going to be the most comfy. The one positive yesterday with the rain, it did help bring some of that rain cooled air down to the surface. Our other concern, of course, is the heat. I mentioned that so many times today already. Heat index values in the lower 100s this week, and it's going to be the headline not just today, but all the way through Friday. And that's why we have these heat advisories in effect through Friday all across the viewing area, not just here, but throughout the plains in the upper Midwest as well. So if you're traveling regionally, maybe for vacation for the remainder of our holiday weekend, be prepared for more heat. Overnight, we're back into the 70s under just a few clouds. Starry, it is going to feel pretty rough out there. You're not going to want the windows open tonight, I don't think at all. And through the rest of the week, for that matter, on our certified most accurate 70 forecast, we're back into the low 100s Wednesday, Thursday 102, Friday. 102 with plenty of sunshine, the lake, the pool, the slip inside, heck, the sprinkler, all good things to uh, beat the heat this week. But we are expecting the chance for a few storms on Saturday, and that is coming where the cold front does try to cool us down just a touch, Jen. But even the 90s isn't all that cool. <laughs> well, not all that cool, but we'll take a little bit of a relief. Thank you, TJ. Mm -hmm. Beat the heat is the story for this week.